today we have a special guest with with us sunil bajaj sunil bajaj is the director of scrt haryana gurgaon he is working as resource person for professional development of teachers development of maths textbooks maths kits teaching learning materials and modules by ncrt and scrt he has also established innovation in innovative mathematics resources uh, center at scrt and was honored by government of haryana on teachers day uh, we welcome you sir to the school synergy workshop thank you नमस्ते सर लॉन्ग टाइम now new education policy is focusing on 21st century skills the four very commonly known 21st century skills are uh the, that is critical thinking or problem solving another is uh, communication another is uh collaboration and the important one is creativity and innovations so in mathematics how these 21st century skills can be linked and can be developed using different activities different processes that we will discuss we will try i will try to share uh here first of all i just want to ask one question to all before coming to the main topic the mathematics while dealing in the classroom can we say that the brain growth is only by birth at the time of birth whatever is the brain uh, developed at the time of birth is the same it never grows later on or the children by birth they are intelligent and not uh, by the later in later years they develop their brain so what do you say about it anyone can can this speak okay sir it's not 100% from the birth sir so 50% it may depends but the remaining we can change it uh, while teaching through different activities and different uh, methods anyone else okay it's so it's okay now now the brain grows as you said with the past passage of uh, the experience the child is having not only by birth so same is proved by professor jo boiler if you have heard about her professor jo boiler conducted a study on brain growth with uh, a neuroscientist and in that you know professor jo boiler is a professor in uh, stanford university earlier she was a teacher and now she is uh, working as a uh, professor in mathematics education in stanford university so she has conducted a study uh, on brain and in which she observed that when the brain growth occurs as we have seen that they, in the classroom there is a differentiation that uh, some children they are having they learn so fast and others don't and uh, other have some barriers also so that we can say some have growth mindset and some have fixed mindset but how that happened how they became with fixed mindset and how they become with growth mindset that all depends upon and as mentioned in the study that brain grows brain grows only when they have been given some activities in which they have to think they have to analyze 
they have to make some rules then only the neurons in the brain grows so as you said that the brain grows after the passage of the time the experience we have in our society in our day to day life but the children who don't have such experiences which they which uh, gives them a chance to think or to analyze or to make rules like these if those opportunities are not given they become a fixed mindset and they are always have a limited uh, uh, options then they can't do they will not try or any time they can stop but the growth mindset always they will say that yes uh, they can do it if they are not able to do right now but they can do it uh, so the first question first thing which everyone should know that everyone can be a with a growth mindset if we give the child the opportunity about thinking analyzing and making rules problem solving if these uh, opportunities are given then only they will have the growth mindset now my second question to discuss about this teaching of mathematics is what is the difference between a child and a machine the difference between a child and a machine anyone can answer okay sir the uh, machine it follows as it is what what are the instructions we are giving what we built in that but a child can change it they can change automatically it depends on the situation right. okay uh, the machine what we have uh, program in the whatever the program we have fixed in the machine that will perform accordingly but child can do independently that is one thing you have said anyone else machine as a fixed where child can think okay uh, that is child is a independent thinker yes uh like a fan fan is a machine if you yes. just switch on the switch on then the fan will rotate in a particular direction but if you okay. just ask a child to rotate a fan he and she may rotate the fan in uh any clockwise direction anti clockwise direction or maybe in any direction so because child can think so in the classroom teaching learning processes we have to think whether we are dealing with machines just listen carefully when we perform that means we solve questions we solve many examples in the blackboard and the children are just copying down just think again that whether by doing may more questions on the blackboard more solution to the children is it the same that we are just uh, making a program we are treating them as a machine and programming the solution we are giving they just cram the solution and then perform accordingly or in our teaching learning process are we thinking that they are child they can think they can perform they can do differently we are giving them a chance to think so these are the two things whether in the classroom teaching learning process we are giving them a program making them machines or we are giving them a opportunity which in which they can think or do something so that we have to think for performing uh, for doing a teaching learning process in mathematics that is a, another thing which you have to take care of now the third thing for <clears throat> uh what is mathematics actually the purpose of mathematics what is the purpose of uh dealing mathematics in the classroom if uh, normally we found that in the society people say that mathematics is difficult why don't we remove mathematics from the classroom and uh, make uh, it uh, made children comfortable if they are finding it difficult 
why it is compulsory uh, for up to 10th should we have optional as maths what is your opinion it's compulsory needed sir because they have to fulfill their daily life uh, activities uh, in okay. every situation in our life we have to face the mathematics in a calculations or whatever any other any other uh, mathematical thinking is important i would say mathematical rather, thinking is important. yeah rather than learning uh, maybe procedures but uh, the thinking uh, logical thinking or whatever uh, we call it as mathematical thinking that is most important life skills uh, thank you uh, very nice uh, mostly uh, we listen from the people who don't have mathematics as a subject they say that mathematics is as it is compulsory why because in daily life we have to use mathematics uh, everywhere we need calculation everywhere is mathematics but the main aim of mathematics teaching learning process is as you said that the to develop logical thinking to develop skills in the child problem solving skill logical thinking analytical thinking critical thinking these are the things which are to be developed while dealing mathematics in the classroom these are the skills which are required mathematics is only for dealing with that otherwise in the daily life you must have seen a vendor selling vegetables maybe knowing the cost of uh, if okay, cost of 1 kg is 30 then 650 g he will calculate fast than you he has not read mathematics also the mason he knows the how much bricks are required to build a wall he knows uh, so quickly he will tell you so quickly anything material but the we who have read mathematics for calculations and all that we have remember area everything even then we are not finding it easy to tell that so in daily life the mason or the vendor they are doing more much more calculation faster than us so that is not the aim that can be learned without dealing with mathematics mathematics as you said is the aim is only to do mathematics for logical thinking analytical thinking critical thinking rule formation generalization the basic aim of mathematics so th so this is what uh, we are talking about that mathematics is not only for calculation it is for logical thinking now how we can do in our classroom what are the ways we can uh, create uh, such uh, we can develop such skills in the children so i will give you few examples uh, how we can deal with the children now nowadays <clears throat> we are giving problems to only let them perform make them uh, that only perform a particular process or procedure or we are giving opportunity or the task to let them learn so difference between performance and learning now here i am giving you an opportunity to think suppose nowadays you are listening about toy based pedagogy now in the toy based pedagogy suppose i am giving you one example that let us uh, you can see i have this is semi circle i have cut it the semi circular shape and now as you know we can fold it in such a way that we can make it a uh, toy based pedagogy if we ask children to make caps and different size cap so once once you tell them the procedure they will make they will go and make a beautiful cap if the performance is required they will do it now the same thing as a process in mathematics you can give challenges to the children that this is a cap with height 15 cm now ask them 
to make a cap with a height half of the height of the given cap one child can make half of the height so what changes he have to make he has to think how much is the paper will be used in that how much paper we have used in this cap and how much paper we will use if height of the cap is half can anyone uh, of you share me how many different ways we can ask various questions on this uh, performance I, they are making it twice as this is a cap they are making so how many questions we can think of one more example that if its volume you make a cap whose volume is half of the volume of this cap you make a cap whose circumference of the base is half of the circumference of given cap similarly how many we can think of can anyone share what is the radius of this cap yes half of the radius of the base yes that is one more question any other if we if have the height is, yes. if we are uh, taking height half then what what other factors will change right can we keep the circumference same i mean that can that could be the question means yes we can <laughs> keep keep circumference same we can keep uh, height we are uh, we are making half we can make double any other thing which we can do in it when the radius and height changes how it affects on its areas and value right if we this is i have used semi circle if we i divide it into so if i ask that uh, uh find make a cap in which the paper used is half of the paper used in the given cap so instead of asking half of the curved surface area you may ask area of the paper we have used so similarly if more questions that if this uh, surface is divided into six equal parts means we are using six colors to paint it to paint this cap we are using six colors so each color will be costing 1 rupees per square centimeter then how much is the cost of each part we are going to paint so that sector suppose this is open and then sector so lot of questions even on a single cap you are making but you can have hundred of questions on it so let children make questions as you are trying in different ways let children make questions and they that uh, if simply you say make a cap do the perf perform only creativity can be there they can use colorful and anything all this but for mathematics learning if we give them different different opportunities and in which they have to think uh, and find out the solutions to various uh, task you are thinking of so the same task which was only uh, given for making a cap can be introduced in a way that children may think or learn now one more example i want to talk to you that is about the task which are low floor high ceiling uh how many of you are knowing about can can puzzle just i will share the screen please uh, share the screen please allow me to share the screen uh yes uh these i am not reading these are 21st century skills uh next slide slides are visible yes sir yes sir yes sir so that i was talking that 21st century skills uh, we are talking today only learning skills literacy and life skills i am not talking today i am talking about learning skills next uh again i told you of critical thinking creativity collaboration and communication these are the four these are learning skills which are talked about nowadays uh, this is the can can puzzle if any one of you have heard about it 
actually uh, as i earlier mentioned that uh, the professor joe byler which is talking about the activities which involves brain that where child thinks analyze they those kind of activity we are doing now this is low floor high ceiling task this can can puzzle can be played by the children of class 1 to class 10 or any uh, even parents can you learn about the sudoku similar to that now this is a 3 by 3 box in this the puzzle is that we have to fill the numbers 1 2 and 3 only numbers 1 2 and 3 and the rule is that one row and one column should have only 1 2 and 3 once only no digit can be repeated again there is you can see at the top corner of the box in each smaller box the numbers are written with operation now operation we are to use the operation to get the target number 3 now 3 as a sum of numbers so it can be 1 plus 2 or 2 plus 1 similarly next you say 5 plus so you have to find numbers 3 plus 2 2 plus 3 1 plus 4 4 plus 1 but 4 plus 1 we can't take as the limitation is we can use digits only 1 2 and 3 now here in the figure you see some lines are bold and some are dotted so here the bold line makes cage so here you can see the cage the first cage consists of two small boxes in which middle line is dotted one similarly second one is also cage with two boxes but the third one at the right corner where one plus is mentioned you can see all four lines are bold so here we have to uh select a number single number so only one box is there so one plus so only op option is one here we can keep one so we can fill here one now now your you can have lot of options to fill this box but the answer will be one see you can move in different ways and the answer will come one as first of all 3 plus you can write in the top you can write two and the lower one you can write in the middle row you can write one so this is a can can puzzle you can see lot of videos which are available on the youtube uh, i am just giving you the task what kind of task we can give children to think you can learn the processes also given in the video you can see it is 3 by 3 can be 4 by 4 5 by 5 6 by 6 any number of boxes can be there and the operation here in this box it is very basic one where plus sign is used but operation can be plus minus addition sub, sorry multiplication subtraction division all of any of the operations can be mentioned there according to the there can be three boxes there can be four boxes according to the required as i am telling you that this kind of puzzles every day after in the classroom you can give children and they can do at home the kind of involvement as their uh, these students can have is they will be engaged in thinking different uh, not only the uh, what i have earlier mentioned this kind of task will automatically make them with growth mindset because their brain they are thinking on it and they have to think different ways also uh, coming to uh, back uh, to another slide yes uh, is to is pehle yes you see now this slide generalization we are talking about now you see it is 10 by 10 box and in this box uh, the small 10 by 10 box now the right and left boxes i have colored them with uh, red, colored color, with red, red color red color and the top and bottom are 
blue in between. Now you see here, this is uh, not a square box by chance. It is, uh, the selection is not uh, 10 by 10, but you assume that it is 10 by 10. Assume it is 10 by 10 by chance. You can see top is the palatable slide. Or, oh, no, it's next value. Yes. You can zoom in, uh, you can zoom in this uh, figure. The first one you can see, this is a 10 by 10. Now here, the first box, if you see, to tell that how many boxes, small boxes are there in the outer area, outer part. So here you can see the one way, first one, first one, this way box. Yes, you see the top line is red, the bottom line is red, it has 10 boxes top and 10 boxes at the bottom. The left and right, in between there are 8 box, small boxes, so 10 plus 8 plus 10 plus 8. Now if, similarly, if it is 9 by 9, it is 7 by 7, it is 8 by 8, any kind of box, then the way to generalize it, that n plus n minus 8 plus n plus n minus 8. Similar to the actual numbers written for generalization, let children think n plus n minus 2 plus n plus n minus 2. And it can be generalized as 2n plus 2 into n minus 2. And you can uh, open it and find out in different way. Now you can see, let children come up with different ways to generalize. Now here the second option you can see 10 plus 9 plus 9 plus 8. Now here it can be done if as I am saying that this box is 10 by 10. So n I am taking 10. So 10 plus 2 into n minus 1 plus n minus 2. So let children make another option. Can you try one more option? Any one of you can try other than these two op four options? Don't show which one other. Don't show. Change it. Stop sharing screen. Stop sharing screen. Yes. Uh, I have shown you the way children can come or think about the generalization. I have shown you a box of 4 by 4, a 10 by 10. Then I have wrote uh, 10 plus 8 plus 10 plus 8. And to tell the number of boxes in it in the outer area, outer part. So that is how the children can think of. So one or two options I have given. You can think of how many ways we can represent the same in different way. If we take only four corner boxes and count all 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 and minus 4. Now here you see, if it is 10 plus 10 plus, yani ki 4n minus 4. That is another way to get the number as 36 in this 10 by 10. So lot of ways to think about it. And let children make different generalization, different option on it. Now here, next slide, open this, share the screen again. Next, next. Yes. Back. Yes. No, it's a, it's a next. Yes, eight centimeter. It's a upper one. Now here, as I am talking about the performance and the learning, a very simple example, as all of you are dealing with mathematics at higher classes, if you are not uh, dealing with the primary classes, I'm just sharing how to deal with suppose in class fourth, fifth. You must have uh, 
one teacher teaching primary classes because as nep is talking about that the brain grows maximum in the age group of 0 to 6 years and at another is 3 to 8 years the foundational year fl and foundational uh, literacy and numeracy we are talking we are listening from every corner of uh, world now in this why this is now focused because ecce early uh, child care is also education is also in focus now the brain grows maximum in those areas so we have to also take care of the students at that primary level also now as for example if we talk if we give a, a rectangle 8 by 4 and ask about the area simply they calculate it 8 by 8 into 4 32 se- square centimeter but the same question if you ask children in different way that can you tell me the length at the breadth of a rectangle whose area is 32 square centimeter now here what will happen the learning will take place they have to think about the length and the breadth they can think of the multiplication of different numbers that 32 can be obtained by 1 into 32 2 into 16 2 can be breadth 16 can be length similarly uh, another factors of 32 they will make and accordingly they will make different rectangles they can talk about so learning about rectangles they will be more comfortable instead of doing simply calculation the procedure that multiply 8 by 4 and you get 32 area so instead of procedural mathematics we should give them a chance to think again i am coming back as i told you that if you just simply give them length breadth and find area they will tell that area is 32 and that's the what performance is required normally but instead of that let them think that that can happen only when when you will give them open ended questions open ended question will let them will provoke them to think on this now i will show you another example now stop this screen sharing now here you see <clears throat> i am showing you a glass full of water now if uh, uh, those who are dealing with 11th and 12th the derivative i am now going to explain with the help of this class how we can introduce derivative in the beginning if the children don't know about the use of derivative in the daily life they will be not so much interested to do that they will only simply as earlier i told they will only do performance means simply solve the questions uh, they know the formula they do the uh, they know the procedure and they solve it. but when you ask them what is the use of it in daily life and how you see in daily life that we can discuss with them now here suppose we have suppose the children are given an a4 size sheet you see this is a4 size sheet 20 by 30 now they have to make open boxes like this they have to make open boxes by there is a question in the class of 12th that if you cut a square piece from the corner each corner and then fold it you will get a open box now in the classroom before initiating the discussion or naming the topic you ask them to that uh, distribute this 20 by 30 sheet to all children ask them to make a box in which 
a shopkeeper has to keep some material so with large whose volume is maximum whose which has more uh, things we can keep in it instead of saying volume you can say he want to keep more things in it whether it is a uh, 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 any item he has to keep suppose salt or sugar anything he has to put in it so he he must have he must have the box in which maximum item it can keep now the quantity maximum quantity it can keep now as all of you are here if it is a 20 by 30 uh those Who, who whose name are with alphabet a can cut a square of 1 cm please listen those who have the name beginning with alphabet a can cut the square 1 cm those who have b can cut the square 1.5 cm those whose name begin with c alphabet cut 2 cm then d they cut 2.5 cm from the corner and those who have e or s i say they can cut 3 cm square from the corner and make the box now let as the same you can ask in the classroom that let children cut the box uh, square piece from the corner and then make the open box now you see when they will come up you see those who have cut 1 square centimeter the volume of that box because you while making this open box it will be a cuboid and the cuboid its volume is length into breadth into height so length 30 if you cut 1 centimeter from each part each side then length will become 28 and the breadth will also 18 so 28 into 18 into 1 the height how much the side of the square you will cut will become the height so similarly you calculate the volume those who have cut 1 those who have cut 1.5 those who have cut 2 cm those who have cut 2.5 3 3.5 now you see the trend that volume it is increasing from one and then goes and after certain point it will start decreasing so what is the right value to cut the side of the square let children think they will try again and again but after some time when they are not able to find out the exact height you tell them that yes today we will learn a method to calculate <coughs> height uh, what exactly the uh, measure of that height that we will cut to make it a perfect box and that will be uh, by suppose l uh, you take 20 minus 2x 30 minus 2x into x and as a question you can find a, a volume of the cuboid is uh, 20 minus 2x into 30 minus 2x into x you will get a <coughs> cubic in x which you differentiate and you will get a quadratic and which quadratic you put equal to 0 and then you will find out the value of x so that is the exact value of x for which the volume will be maximum so the kind of thing which they can think of yes in real life they can see mathematics they can use it somewhere the very simple example which you can do in the classroom and you can ask them to think about the derivatives another example <coughs> another example of how <coughs> now this is a cylindrical glass now you know volume of the cylinder about the i have filled in water up to certain height and if i put another drop into it the volume will increase so if we are to discuss about the rate of change of volume of water in it you see the radius of the base of the cylinder will remain same same will be the 
water which is making a cylindrical shape inside the glass now radius remains same but height is changing so we will differentiate it with respect to height now v is equal to pi k square i am taking radius as constant k pi k square h now if you differentiate dv upon dh this is pi k square and if you take a single drop of oil of different suppose you take any mustard oil any drop of oil on it it will just spread on the top of this water surface and a layer will be made on it that you can make a change rate of change as we are talking about rate of change of volume with respect to height so every time we power a drop into it that layer will be the amount of change and you can see that layer is a circular layer inside the glass and if you differentiate pi k square h with respect to h it will be pi k square and that will be the area of surface area, that is area of that circular layer on the top and you take its a uh, uh, suppose thickness is delta h and then again add all those small layers and you can integrate it and then you will find out the integration and the volume again pi k square delta h if you integrate from 0 to h it will again give you back the volume of this so whether you are talking about the derivative or the integration the same because they are the reverse process you can tell so again i am coming back that we have to think that what are the things we can make them interesting and challenging two things two things are required let children take interest in it let children participate let children think mathematics whenever you give opportunity whether as i am talking about today mathematics is not only dealing uh, the tell, telling the procedures telling the methods doing calculations it is to develop child about the logical thinking about the analytical thinking why what happened similarly now i have taken the example of this cylindrical glass you can talk you try it uh, for a conical vessel for a cubical vessel and see what happens same same example will work for the same for cubical vessel as well as for conical vessel there are uh, because in cone you will see the radius and the height both are changing you can make one constant uh, by taking the angle theta the Vert vertical angle, and then you can use it. You think on it, you can find the solution. But you can use these example to make children think. Yes, the things they are uh, discussing in the classroom can be used in their daily life. So uh, I have many things more to explain, but I think uh, it's better you ask any question if you have anything to ask me. because we are left with 10 to 15 minutes 10 15 10 minutes so i can answer if any question you have otherwise i can discuss more things on it and you can ask anything today what we have discussed i begin with what first was whether the child but by birth it is intelligent or it can become intelligent after passage of time through his experience so that is the first question that everyone can learn. the second was difference between machine and the child in the classroom you have when you are dealing with the children in the classroom you must think that the process you are using is the same that you are dealing with the machine as you are giving them as a program or you are giving them an opportunity a task in which they will be involved they will start thinking they will start doing work so that another second part which i have discussed the third thing 
whether the children you are doing the things only for performing it or by for learning so let children learn learn what 21st century skills we are talking how the different ways different opportunities you can create a uh, lot of things are available on internet you have to just give a click you will find as can can puzzle i am telling you can can puzzle you daily give one puzzle you create puzzles let children create puzzles and every day if their brain is involved in such a different different task every day they will enjoy and automatically their brain will grow they will become with growth mindset and their uh the thinking which they were uh, not becoming they will stop them for fixed mindset they will always think that they can do it they can do it uh thank you sunil bajaj sir for such an interesting uh, discussion and the examples that you have shared about uh, mathematics i'm sorry i was not able to be there in the beginning itself and uh, i think the all the teachers must have really enjoyed uh, listening to you uh, i hope you can ask more questions i ask the audience to please uh, uh, think of more questions because you know uh, the next week what we are going to do uh, sunil bajaj sir is that we are going to ask teachers to make certain activities design certain activities which they can use in the classroom uh based on your talk itself and if uh during the week they can even try uh, some of the uh task and activities that you have shown with the students and can share their experience so i would like all of you to uh, please do join again next week and to also think of some of the uh, questions and tasks that can be uh, based on the talk that uh, sir has given today uh, so i can if, i can share one or two more tasks they can yes. if we uh, that suppose, would be great uh, yeah uh, suppose as i mentioned about the conical cap the toy based pedagogy the conical cap they were talking about so you can give them a cylindrical cap you can ask them to a uh, cap which look like uh, which whose uh, shape is like a frustum and then again uh, similarly you can talk about the cap which is frustum or you can have a uh, cylindrical cap and again you can talk about the half or uh, double the radius double the height half the height another task one more low floor high ceiling which i talked about you can create lot of questions on low floor high ceiling as suppose one example now just i am giving you that use four digit four times and use any operation and get the answer as one for example 44 upon 44 is equal to 1 so we have used four digit four times 44 upon 44 is equal to 1 another example 4 plus 4 upon 4 plus 4 is equal to 1 now you can make various let them let children think what are the ways to use four digit four times and any of the operation then the answer will be one so can anyone any one of you can give me and more examples on it, of this how we can use digit 4 4 times and get the result equal to 1 Four into four divided by four into four. Right, that is also very nice. Or anything, I mean, four plus four upon four plus four will also give you one. I think that you told earlier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Four is to power four divided by four is to power four. Very nice. Four, four power zero by four power zero. Four by four into four by four. That is very good. Again, so you will see what happens here that the brain is involved. The children, you can give. Uh, this is no uh, other than the classroom work. These are the puzzle. These are the tasks which will make children think 
all the time. They will enjoy doing it. When they will talk with their parents, their siblings, their brothers, sisters, they, they will enjoy doing all this. So you have to think on it. Everything is available on internet. I have also taken some of the examples from the net, internet. So here, the generalization case, how the children learn generalization. So this is one example I have given. So you can create such a examples where children have to generalize the very basic thing to make rules. Now pattern is a very important factor which you have to introduce. It is now introduced from class one onwards. So giving pattern because mathematics is a study of patterns. So use pattern to discuss mathematics everywhere where you find it. Uh, one very important thing, if you are dealing with mathematics and you have the chance to speak with uh, primary teachers, now counting, counting you can have, uh, you can let them uh, before uh, coming to the writing practice. Uh, you can see our textbooks on the website, uh, Haryana government textbooks uh, for class one and two. There we have used patterns. Suppose uh, the strokes, uh, standing line and slipping lines. These are the lines which our, our children learn. But we have given them a pattern: one standing, one slipping, one standing, one. And like, like this, if you make three uh, pairs and then uh, make dots, let children complete it. So the strokes which the in normally teacher gives in the classroom is simply giving one, one, one standing lines and ask children to do the repeat the same. But instead of that, I have given one horizontal, one vertical, one horizontal, one vertical, one horizontal, and let children think on it. Now, every time child has to think on it. Yes, and this time I have to make a vertical, now I have horizontal, again vertical, again. So every time he has to think on it. Another thing, two, two dots, two, two dots, two and two dots. So the number sense automatically with pattern, two, two dot, two, two dot. This pattern can be grown. So this kind of interventions are required where we are talking about the children will think 21st century, that children will be thinking all the time whenever you are dealing in the mathematics in the classroom. Uh, so these are the things which uh, you can, when you deal with the children of the class one, you can talk to them. Uh, another one last, I have developed this one meter long. You can see this is a, this is a one meter long strip. Uh, this is, I named it Sogol. And with using this Sogol, you don't have one meter, uh, any uh, measuring tape in the classroom. The children never experience one meter length with them. So that you can have one meter and it has dots with one centimeter and then further millimeter also. So it is a measuring tape as well but it can be used for using fractions, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. This tape is kept in uh, Homi Baba Center for Science Education Mathematics Laboratory. And you can see the video for using this tape. Suppose uh, <clears throat> if I talk about the decimal fractions, so you can represent decimal fraction by using this um, uh, meter, one meter long tape because it has partitions, one meter and centimeter and also millimeter. So if I have to, you have to represent three, uh, 0 0.45, 0 0.45. To represent 0.45, here you can see there are 10 colors. So 10 parts, each part is 0.1, representing 0.1. And then second part, second color representing 0.2. Third means 0.3, fourth 0.4. And then five small dots is now 0.45. Further, so this is 0.45. Similarly, 0.457, that up to three digits, that also can be done. Fraction, if you are to uh, represent fraction, close. You can see uh, 
क्लोज कर मेरे को मेरे पास कर यू कैन सी आई हैव आई हैव नाउ शोन यू फोर ब्लू डॉट्स एंड थ्री येलो डॉट नो थ्री बाय सेवन फोर बाय सेवन एनी फ्रैक्शन कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय यूजिंग दिस टू कलर्स सो लॉट ऑफ फ्रैक्शन यू कैन टॉक अबाउट द फ्रैक्शंस आल्सो यू कैन टॉक अबाउट you can talk about the uh, measurement also you can talk about you can measure the circumference of any circular object whatever is there because it is a uh, very uh, flexible tape so you can use it so this is a wonderful tool you can see uh, i will share the youtube link to the in the group you can see that also thank you थैंक यू सो मच सुनील बिरला जी बहुत ही अच्छा रहा आपका प्रेजेंटेशन और बहुत सारे आपने जो टूल्स दिखाए जो रिसोर्सेज दिखाए ऑल द टूल्स एंड रिसोर्सेज दैट यू शोड आई थिंक आर वेरी वेरी यूजफुल एंड आई रियली होप दैट ऑल द टीचर्स डू ट्राई आउट सम ऑफ दीज एक्टिविटीज विद द स्टूडेंट्स दे ऑल्सो स्टार्ट यूजिंग दीज आइडियाज दैट यू हैव शेयर टू बिल्ड मोर एक्टिविटीज एंड टास्क एंड क्वेश्चन एंड i request all the teachers and uh, sir if you also have time you can also join next week again to see what kind of ideas teachers can uh, come up with using these um, uh, examples that you have shared and uh, what we have decided uh, now is that we will give the certificate to you next week after you have attended the uh, design implementation session and when you have shared the experience uh, of using this so uh, when you join next week and you fill up the feedback form you will get the certificate for attending this uh, session itself uh, if there are any further questions uh, from bajaj sir or about school synergy workshops please feel free to ask that else uh, we will meet again next week the same time 3 pm thank you okay so i think there are no questions but i do hope that they will uh, come up with some activities so we have started this because uh, you know uh, teachers they also need to start thinking of certain questions on their own to try out uh, things in the classrooms and it will help them uh, in uh, getting ownership of the resources that they are uh, creating and also adapting the resources that they come across in internet and all of these talks to their classroom situation so thanks a lot sunil bajaj ji for um, uh, being a resource person today we are very very thankful to you ma'am just uh, one request ma'am uh, yes sure for the next uh, session uh, we need a uh, more information about nep ma'am national education policy especially we are not getting clarity on the mathematics uh, what is going to be happen in the nep uh, either okay. syllabus or accordingly that we need ma'am next Okay, for the so I will uh, share. Uh, we can share the NEP mathematics portion with you on the uh, school synergy teachers forum group. And uh, Bajaj sir, would it be possible uh, for you to share the PPT with us? We can share yes. it with teachers. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm... So we will also share that with the teachers itself. And um, if you also have any material about uh, NEP, uh, making it accessible for uh, teachers of mathematics. the mathematical portion uh, please do feel free to share it we will uh, share it with all the teachers in the group sure so i will share there in our group and by the way right i'm uh, you are also there in the group itself you can share directly yeah. if you want sure sure i will share so thanks a lot uh, we will meet again next week 3 pm so bye for now thank you thank you sir very interactive and very useful session sir thank you very much sir Bye. Welcome.